come in, sir? Come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, Anupriya. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, Anupriya from Bihar. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, will you please tell us something about yourself? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I'm Anupriya Rai. I'm born and brought up in Bhagalpur, Bihar. And uh, I've completed my graduation from Jawaharlal Nehru University. And I'm currently pursuing master's in sociology from Jawaharlal Nehru University. My interests include crocheting, uh, uh, bullet journaling, and also listening to podcasts. And listening to podcasts. Yes, sir. Excellent. What kind of podcasts? So uh, it's wide ranging, generally related to socioeconomic issues. Hmm. But sometimes I listen to hilarious podcasts, etc. Hilarious podcast. Yes, sir. Humorous, funny. Humorous and funny. Okay. Yes, sir. So well, that's very good. And your uh, this is your second attempt. Yes, sir. This is my second attempt. And second interview. Yes, sir. This is my second interview. So, um, how much uh, did you get in the last interview? So, in the last interview, I got one seventy-three. Okay. And how much did you miss the bus? So by, by twenty-one marks. By twenty-one marks. Okay. So it means uh, the sociology paper, sociology, uh, you didn't score well in sociology or uh, or in the general studies? So like uh, it was wide ranged. In all the papers, I scored average. So it wasn't above average in any. So how are you placed this time? So I think I have prepared much better this time, but mm. uh, only the marks will tell. Only the marks will tell. All right. And... Uh, <clears throat> How many mocks have you had for this year? So this is my second mock. This is your second mock. Yes, sir. And how many? When is your interview? Sir, my date are not out yet. Date is not out yes, yet. Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. And how many mocks you plan to have? Maybe five total. Three total. more. Three more. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So you have a plan. Uh, why five? Sir, last time I gave around. Maybe ten mocks, including online and offline. I think that uh, um, uh, interview was not the major area where uh, mock would help. But uh, I guess I have to prepare on my own, so that oh. would help me more. All right. Okay. So coming from Bihar, and uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of migration that takes place from Bihar. Uh, are there any sociological reasons for their migration? Mm, so, like, uh, so as has been classified majorly, that migration could be analyzed in push as push and pull factors. So, uh, uh, considering the sociological aspects in push factor, I would say firstly uh, economical reasons like uh, lack of industrialization, employment, etc. But uh, on a sociological issue, maybe uh, caste-based discrimination also acts as an uh, accelerate uh, uh, acts to accelerate migration. So, mm -hmm. and then pull factors would include uh, better standard of living outside and uh, better employment opportunity, better aspects for education as well. Okay. Oh, I get uh, what you are trying to say, but. Um, uh, Bihar has recently conducted uh, a caste-based census. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And uh, do you think uh, it is a good thing to uh, caste becoming a denominator to decide about uh, whatever policies one has to frame or the criteria should be economic? So, I think because there is a lot of caste based discrimination and uh, majorly what we see is that economically backward uh, classes also coincide with uh, people who belong to uh, backward castes so that is one co uh, one thing that coincides but uh, in my personal opinion, I do not think that caste should become a denominator uh, while uh, framing all the policies. Uh, but uh, economical back, uh, backwardness or economical opportunity should be then. But uh, so because uh, they both coincide, uh, we should also give importance to uh, backwardness that different castes face. So uh, I'm in two minds here because both are equally important in my view. But just think more logically 
from my perspective. I yes. mean, you, could, you can have a different stand. Uh, look around. In no state, in no state, the so-called, the higher castes are ruling the state. Yes, sir. It is always the a step lower caste than that. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, is there a case now for reverse Sanskritization? Any examples you would like to give? Yes, sir. Like uh, there are various examples of reverse mm -hmm. Sanskritization. Mm -hmm. Like we see in various castes demanding OBC status or various castes vying for SC or ST status. Uh, to give some example, I would include Maratha, Patel uh, and Jats as well. So uh, this could be analyzed from the lens of reverse Sanskritization where they do not uh, want to copy the ways of so-called upper caste, but uh, they want their identity as a lower caste uh, uh, to be more beneficial to them as well. And they want to uh, take hold of that identity with, proud, uh, with pride. Okay. You have uh, your BA honours in Russian. Yes, sir. Russian language. Yes, sir. And your second choice is uh, uh, Indian Foreign Service. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, if you were to join the Indian Foreign Service, which other language you would like to pick and why? Which would be your language? Every foreign service officer is supposed to learn a language. Yes, sir. S so, should I tell which other language other than Russian? I mean, you can choose Russian as well. I have no problems with that. Sir, then I would choose Russian. Russian? Yes, sir. Uh, why so? So, because uh, I have had a connect with Russian, so it would be easy for me to understand the language, understand the culture and people as well, as compared to taking any other foreign language. But if you look at the geopolitics, yes, sir, as a uh, full geopolitics, now tell me, uh, Russia is Russia so relevant that we need to engage with it? on day to day basis than the other 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 economies and the other uh, powers that are there and our uh, neighborhood in west asia so i think because india has a special strategic partnership with russia then uh, it is important to engage with russia and uh, uh, considering the relevance of Russia, I think because India wants uh, its own, uh, 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 India wants to exercise its sovereignty in exercise of its foreign policy, then engaging with Russia would be helpful vis-a-vis -vis engaging with West, which India is also trying to engage with US, West Asia. So uh, Russia would help India balance out all its interest. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Anupriya. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Bhagalpur Bihar. Yes, sir. Tell me something about uh, Dilip Mukherjee. Heard of Dilip Mukherjee? Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sir. He is from Bhagalpur. Sir, I don't know. Sorry. Kranti Prakash Chha. Sir, I am... Was an actor from Bhagalpur? Sir, okay. I am unaware. Okay. Uh, is that today's newspaper? Yes, sir. Okay. The Civil Aviation Minister asked six airports in India to set up war zones. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll give you the context because the fog is creating havoc yes, in sir, the yes, airport. Uh, why is that fog is creating havoc in the airports? And how a war zone is going to help? Are you, are, you, are you at a war? And what should be done, really? So, fog is creating a havoc because like in the northern plains, uh, fog uh, impe impedes the vision, so flight is not unable to take off or it is unable to land uh, uh, in the connecting airports. So fog becomes an important factor considering the entire aviation during winter season. And so considering why a war room is being set up, so because uh, uh, delay in one airport can cause uh, delay uh, wide, uh, over widespread area and it can also cause unruly behavior in passengers like we saw recently and so uh, that would also hamper uh, economically uh, the uh, maybe the uh, 
uh, parcels industry and a passenger etc they would also hamper them economically so it should be something that could be addressed on a war footing because it's uh, it happens every winter and we should be prepared for it anupriya i had an understanding that we have instrument landing system so how is the vision important fog is impeding vision and in jf kennedy airport in new york in zero vision also you can land so i'm not sure what kind of you said you read the newspaper all the details are there what kind of instrument landing system is there what exactly the problem in there in delhi airport okay uh what is the effect of inflation on the exchange rate yes sir so the uh, uh, effect of inflation on exchange rate could be seen as uh, like uh, sir exchange rate actually depends on uh, what's the demand of rupee is in the market so if the demand for rupee increases then rupee will appreciate and if the demand for rupee decreases effect of inflation yes sir then it will uh, india is undergoing inflation yes sir so, so what happens so the value of rupee so Uh, so because of inflation our exports will decrease and then uh, because our exports will decrease then value of rupee will why will export decrease because of inflation so because uh, goods over here will become uh, expensive for foreigners <coughs> to purchase expensive in terms of rupee yes sir okay so what will happen to the exchange rate sir rupee will depreciate rupee will depreciate correct yes sir okay. so if inflation takes place the value of the currency goes up goes down yes sir okay but in us case inflation became very high yes sir but their currency appreciated so from what i understand in order to tackle uh, so in order to tackle the inflation the fed increased its interest rate and no. see if the inflation takes place the monetary policy will increase the interest rate yes sir because unless you interest you increase the interest rate you cannot combat the inflation yes, sir. that any country will do yes sir so because fed increased the interest rate uh, and uh, because us being a stable uh, economy uh, most of the foreign portfolio investors etc they flee to that country you mean all other economy are unstable excuse me sir you mean the other economy is unstable in all other economy the inflation goes up exchange rate goes down interest rate goes up yes sir but here you not behaving in that way so its uh, other economies are not unstable but vis-a-vis -vis us it's considered the safest of all okay. so uh, increase uh, there was increase in dollar who is going to be the chief guest in the republic day parade so uh, french president emmanuel macron okay please comment on the contemporary indo french relationship so so i i uh, so india and france has a defense partnership as uh, we saw in uh, uh, purchasing rafale uh, rafale fighter jets from there also during last uh, maybe national day of france miss um, our prime minister was invited as the chief guest there so and uh, they both harbor a peaceful relationship and uh, so that is what i can say thank you <coughs> welcome <coughs> anupia thank you sir thank you sir <coughs> Have you read today's newspaper? Yes, sir. Yesterday's newspaper? Yes, sir. Give me two important headlines. Sir, first would be that Supreme Court stayed the order uh, of uh, inspection in uh, Eidga Mosque in Mathura, and uh, then uh, there was this headline in Indian Express about uh, uh, one of the cheeta uh, died. Very mild, this mundane, mundane things. Some important for you are as IAS aspirant. Some news which should attract you. This is the news which, but uh, there may be question to me. So and uh, there were news in the world section about Iran bombing uh, facilities in uh, Iraq, which it considered were spy uh, uh, spy outlets of Israel. And so the other news about the World Economic Forum Davos uh, um, meet taking place. Yes. So what is the what is the major agendas of world economic forum so the major <coughs> uh, agendas of davos uh, this year has been uh, revolving around war in ukraine war in israel and uh, then about uh, climate change as well so and so and always like always economic growth of the world some 
uh, <coughs> some news about niti ayog chairman has said something some statement yes sir but sir, i'm not able to recall that yeah have you read that or not read that so i had seen it but <coughs> i'm not read it completely i don't feel it important so there were a lot of news hey <laughs> lot of news you have to filter the news yes sir which one is important for you okay <coughs> you are using smartphone yes sir so everybody is using smartphone yes sir now there is a new trend people are shifting from smartphone to feature phone i'm not talking about poor people hmm. who can't afford i'm talking about people who can afford yes sir what can be the reason of shifting from <coughs> so i think the reason from shifting uh, reason of shifting from smartphone to feature phone could be because smartphone offers a lot of distraction and feature phones uh, by default just uh, performs a few functions which a phone is supposed to and not uh, uh, provide with a lot of distraction so people can cut with the digital time and then what else <coughs> so so <coughs> and so i also think because uh, a lot of digital frauds are happening then maybe feature phone would be uh, would help them better tackle with uh, digital frauds okay i give you a statement if you get something free yes sir you are the product yes sir explain so this means that uh, in economy nothing is free and uh, somebody has to pay it then if something is being offered then the other person who is offering uh, offering the services or the product to me uh, is in some way getting advantage of uh, me being uh, offered that product example so example so so i could take some of the example where there are free uh, products or free samples being offered then we consume the free products and sample then we are their test bed and we give them feedback and reaction as to how that uh, product would work etc so in that case we are the product which is being tested okay to some extent you are <coughs> all right tell me what is the tax to gdp ratio of country <coughs> so tax to gdp ratio of so so like i am not able to recall but it was less than 20% is a very big term less than 20% <laughs> so i am not able to recall i read it like a long time ago okay what is our tax base so tax base uh, considering how many people pay tax income tax pay paying tax pay taxes. income tax uh, oh. as the proportion of population so it is around 3% okay some near <coughs> okay now what do you understand by blockchain technology so <laughs> blockchain technology um, is an emerging uh, technology avenue where uh, where uh, transactions takes place in form of blocks where blocks are uh, verified and then transaction play, take place it offers uh, more security and uh, it's a so then so these are some of the features so term, it's a decentralized ledger there is some term used mining yes sir but why but do the mine so <coughs> in order for a blockchain transaction to take place uh, uh, the transaction in place is being offered to various uh, computers uh, which are involved in mining so they have to solve a complex mathematical problem and by solving the that complex mathematical problem they are able to mine the cryptocurrencies okay good <coughs> Have you heard of China Plus One? Yes, sir. What is China Plus One? So <laughs> China Plus One uh, is the shift in uh, global economic domain where uh, most of the foreign countries, which are dependent on China for uh, their manufactured goods and are integrated with China in the supply chain, are trying to shift to various other countries as well in order to de-risk from China. So in that situation. that situation india was the best placed country yes sir next biggest country is india yes, so a lot of investment should have come here but we could have get we get caught some investment but major investment going to some smaller countries yes sir what is the reason why people are hesitant to come to india <coughs> so so i think people are hesitant to come to india firstly because our manufacturing sector has not been much developed due to a lot of frequent changes in policy and only now because of pli etc that manufacturing sector is taking uh, is taking a flight there and so uh, various like small countries like vietnam etc uh, also have uh, 
like uh, uh, huge labor uh, huge labor supply and they are also at low cost and we offer the same advantage but uh, it's basically our manufacturing sector has not developed that uh, made them hesitant to come to india okay thank you <coughs> yeah, you, you 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 talked about push factors and pull factors yes sir uh, are they the two sides of the same coin yes sir they are two sides of the same coin it's just that uh, a uh, sociologist demographer Everett Lee he gave this concept of analyzing migration in terms of push and pull factor okay and uh, you also talked about higher caste yes so sir are higher caste and dominant castes are the same no sir so higher caste and dominant caste are not the same so M N Srinivas this gave this concept of dominant caste where he told that uh, there are a lot of caste which are intermediate between lower caste and higher caste and they form a uh, dominant caste based on various factors like uh, numerical preponderance uh, uh, english education and uh, high uh, high claim in the local administration etc uh, he gave some six factors do numbers matter yes sir number matters uh, so why do we still not see scheduled castes as a dominant caste so one of the reasons which he gave uh, which mn shrinivas gave for uh, a caste to be a dominant caste was ownership of land and ownership of resources but uh, we have observed that scheduled castes do not uh, own a lot of resources and land so that could be one of the reason okay so what is soft power so soft power uh in terms of J joseph nai was the ability of any uh, country to attract uh, by uh, by their culture and not by economic uh, coercion or military so in india do you think russia or usa if we have to compare who enjoys more soft power so us enjoys more hard power and soft power both because uh, we speak english language we talk in english language we are so much influenced by western food culture and you know television as well uh, we are so much connected with us politics as well and us uh, the web series and shows as well so okay so we are, we are more i would say coerced by us's soft power as well yes sir we are both coerced by soft power as well as hard power okay and what was wagner group we heard of wagner group wagner group wagner Oh sorry sir uh, Wagner group yes Wagner yes, sir. group yes so Wagner group were the mercenaries who were private militias in Russia and uh, they went uh, went for war in Ukraine and also at various other places in Africa and why were they what what was the use in Ukraine or elsewhere so what was was Russia using Wagner group so there were reports that russia were using wagner groups and even the head of wagner groups uh, uh, claimed that they were fighting for russia and they are not getting enough supplies <clears throat> so there is, are is it morally correct so, for for a nation which has a legal and a legitimate army to use militia so in my opinion it is not advisable and it's not morally correct for any nation which has its own army to uh take help of any private militia because uh because i think during military it would be very difficult uh, during a war it would be very difficult to control them and they are motivated by private uh, uh, profit motives rather than love for nation and uh, security of the country as such okay yeah, that's it. thank you so much so anupriya we are done with the our formal interaction with you right will give you now the will give you the feedback and uh, what do you think uh, how you did in this uh, mock so so it was like not very good but like above average above average okay in uh, other mocks that you have had yes sir uh, what recommendations have been made to you so first recommendation was made that i have to lower the pitch of my voice mm -hmm. second that i speak too fast so i have to reduce my speed mm -hmm. and then whenever some question is asked then i straight away jump to answer that question hmm yes sir so was it the case last year also or this time only this suggestion these suggestions have been made so i think my personality is very anxious so it always happens it always happens you are an anxious 
personality. So, um, how many siblings you have? So, I have three siblings. So, where are you? Position? So, I am so the middle child. I have an uh, elder sister and a younger sister. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So, you make yourself heard by using the uh, high pitch? No, sir. I think... Okay. That is how okay. I just okay. That's, that's perfectly fine. Well, <clears throat> you have done the interview last year also. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, and uh, by the time you go for your real interview, I think you may not need this bulky uh, coat. Yes, sir. You wouldn't. You are already sweating. I can see that. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, so far as your interview is concerned, I think you, you are an excellent uh, candidate. You should be nailing the exam this year for sure. And the only thing is, uh, I don't know whether how good a student you are. You have been pointed out, uh, you know the you know the problems of delivery of your uh, answers, but you are not correcting them. <laughs> so it may be it may be a personality trait, as you say, but you need to work on that. Yes, sir. Right. We we are old people. We may be hard of hearing, but not so much. So I think a uh, little lowering your pitch, softening it down, practicing it and listening to yourself over and over again. I think this would uh, be of great help to you. Right. And uh, <clears throat> uh, your uh, dress wise, I, I have no problems, whatever you choose to wear, whether it's a shalwar kameez or a sari, it's okay. So long as uh, there is content in what you say. And there is a lot of content that you uh, say, you reason that are well, you well read. And since you have time, I would uh, suggest that uh, <coughs> certain questions on economy yes, in sir. particular, you need to brush those up. Yes, sir. Uh, read newspapers at least one financial paper and whether online offline or whatever it's your calling and uh, you know your questions will emanate basically from three uh, sources your DAF your educational qualifications your optional subject and current affairs yes, which sir. is a huge bouquet so if you are not able to answer any question let it not bog you down because there will be occasions when a candidate may not know a particular thing and that's okay with us. We have absolutely no problem with that. Uh, but you certainly need to work on the current affairs, on international relations and uh, economy, e economics in particular. Uh, you intend to take five mocks. I would say please do take them. Normally I say that you should not be taking a mock um, very often there should be a gap of seven to ten days but in your case you should take because you need to make an effort to bring down your pitch only for that purpose the moment you start uh, speaking in a measured tone your uh, your uh, fast delivery and your pitch will automatically correct, uh, correct and your rhythm of answering will be better. So, and uh, whenever a question is posed to you, you are no, no longer a student. What we are looking at you is not uh, a knowledge that is sealed in the main exam. What we are looking at is how this person processes the question, prepares the, uh, thinks over it, answers reasonably in a dignified manner right yes sir. without quarreling and uh, is true is uh, because anybody who asks the question he knows the answer very well mind yes, you sir. that so we are looking for the integrity in your uh, personality honesty transparency sincerity that should uh, reflect and uh, when you speak very loudly and fast that shows uh, so still immature so not not really there if you just do that you will add another 10 marks to your kitty straight away over the last times 
maybe you will uh, go to 200 mark and uh, cross that so that is what my take is and prepare a question uh, bank of uh, 100 uh, sheets uh, current affairs yes, work sir. on current affairs you need to work on that yes, uh, economic economy and uh, this you should be doing very well thank you i mean this is what i have to say yeah Uh, the chairperson has given you most of the thing. I will only add a few, just to emphasize on some of them. Uh, first of all, your sari sari is really good. I believe it's a local sari. So what I wear is a local sari. This is for the mocks. Try to uh, wear that kind of sari. Yes, sir. May not be that particular piece. Yes, sir. Because you will be getting maybe you will get from some lady members about the sari. about uh, the conditions of the artisans yes sir what else our textile industry maybe international trades in textiles that could be many things so yes, if you are going to market interview you better go with that because somebody may ask you because you want interview all question cannot be added okay so you should be knowing and the local one is much better because it relate to your paper but choice is yours i asked you about two actors who were born at bhagalpur Okay, you are born at Bhagalpur. Yes, sir. So you should knowing about Bhagalpur. Any questions? Okay, director, actor, cinema personality. I asked. That's one thing. I asked you about the fog conditions. You know, giving an answer, fog is there, visibility not there. Anybody will go. The main problem is Delhi airport has four on which two yes, are sir. out of order. They are not working. Yes, sir. Out only two of them are having Cat three instrumental landing system. Out of that, on that particular day, both were not working. only one is one is now working so the instrument landing system is not working because 150 meters visibility you need 125 meters visibility you need but had the instrument landing system been working this problem would have not arisen so read when you are reading in newspaper not the headline of first two things read the entire news because uh, how keen you are how are how are you are linking yourself to the surroundings these are the thing we like to say I asked about the U.S. exchange rate. It's basically U.S. is the reserve currency. There is always a demand for the U.S. currency. That's why that currency behaves in a different thing. I because you are given a foreign service, you have taken Russia. People may ask you about foreign relationship. Uh, I think chairperson asked you about the uh, Russia, uh, Russian language, the same thing. Russian language not only spoken in Russia, it is yes, spoken sir. also in Central Asia, which is very important to us. Central Asia is important for gas also. oil also that we are uh, developing a potent um, um, multimodal transport line to that place russia many strategic and other things so you have to give a little more you know what you said is not bad but you have to say much more yeah okay and because you are speaking fast pitching there you are not selecting words carefully yeah, uh, the chair person advise you do that you will have time to think like you said that the cost and the Economic class, they coincide. They don't coincide. They correlate. There is a strong positive correlation. So if you do it slowly, probably that word will occur to you. You know that you made a mistake in the blockchain. You corrected yourself because you found time for that. Correct. So do find that time about that. You about the Iran bombing uh, Iraq. Yes. You forgot Iran bomb Park also. Yes, sir. But uh, you didn't say that. So in the news, it was written that uh, uh, the news agency took back the news. So I thought that. Uh, okay. You said Chita died. I don't know. I'm not read the news. I thought Chita is extinct, at least in India. But then, uh, what is it that you have to really be sure? I may be wrong. So Chita project where we got Chita no, from Namibia and South Africa. Right. I may be wrong. I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm saying I may be wrong. So 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 what what overall I'm saying that you are good. You have to practice. What the chairperson said it really covers most of the thing. Do that. And take mocks when you think that you are prepared, and you will definitely do well. Thank, Thank you, sir. One thing, the small thing, newspaper have so much news. Yes, sir. Eighty percent is of no use to you. Center, center page, and broad headlines. Which now this Niti Aayog, it was important news. Yes, sir. For you, a person coming above poverty line, you know. See? these things you should only know so above the poverty line ah, so I, so that i read i thought you were asking in context of davos no, no. davos is, davos was also news same day both the news were there yes so that i have read
सोशोलॉजी की एप्लीकेशन अच्छी है और जैसे जैसे ना यू सेड सॉफ्ट पावर में जोजफ नाइ से तो यू कैन स्ट्रेट अवे से विदाउट एनी थिंकिंग इज नी दैट 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 शुड लुक फाइन और रशियन एंड रशिंग ऐसे मुझे वो लग रहा है कि ना कि कि रशियन लैंग्वेज एंड रशिंग लैंग्वेज बहुत थोड़ा सा अगर स्पीड स्लो हो जाती है तो दैट शुड बी इन यू फेवर ऑलरेडी बट आई गेस की नॉलेज बहुत अच्छी है any questions you have no sir all right all the very best nail it thank you sir okay thank you sir okay all the best